Hello all, and welcome to today's Sefer portion. Today we're going to be reading Vayikra, or Leviticus 17 and 18. And you who spoke unto, El, unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto El Aaron, and unto his sons, and unto all the children of Israel, and say unto them, This is the thing which Yehua has commanded, saying, What man, soever there be of the house of Israel, that kills an ox, or lamb, or goat, in a camp, or that kills it out of the camp, and brings it not unto the door of the tabernacle of the assembly to offer an offering unto Yahuwah before the tabernacle of Yahuwah. Blood shall be imputed unto that man, he has shed blood, and that man shall be cut off from among his people, to the end that the children of Israel may bring their sacrifices which they offer, all of Tavet, in the open field, even that they may bring them unto Yahuwah. Unto the door of the tabernacle of the assembly, unto the priests, and offer them for a peace offering unto Yahuwah. And the priests shall sprinkle all of Talet, the blood upon the altar of Yahuwah, at the door of the tabernacle of the assembly, and burn the fat for a sweet savor unto Yahuwah. And they shall no more offer all of Talet their sacrifices unto devils, after whom they have gone a whoring. This shall be a statute forever unto them throughout their generations, and you shall say unto them, Whatsoever man there be of the house of Yisrael, or of the strangers which sojourn among you, that offer a burnt offering or sacrifice, and brings it not unto the door of the tabernacle of the assembly, to offer it unto Yahuwah, even that man shall be cut off from among his people. And whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn among you, that eats any manner of blood, I will set my face against that soul that eats all Tevet the blood, and will cut him off from among his people. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls, for it is the blood that makes, a, makes an atonement for the soul. Therefore I say unto the children of Israel, No soul of you shall eat blood, neither shall any of the stranger that sojourns among you eat blood. And whatsoever man there be of the children of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn among you, which hunts and catches any beast or fowl that may be eaten, he shall even pour out all Tevet the blood thereof, and cover it with dust, for it is the life of all flesh, the blood of it is for the life thereof. Therefore. I said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall eat the blood of no manner of flesh, for the life of all flesh is the blood thereof. Whosoever eats it shall be cut off, and every soul that eats that which died of itself, or that which was torn by beasts, whether it be one of your own country or stranger, he shall both wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until the evening, then shall he be clean. But if he wash them not, nor bathe his flesh, then he shall bear his iniquity. Chapter 18 And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, I am Yahuwah Elohim. After the doing of the land, doings of the land of Mishraim, wherein ye dwelt, shall ye not do. And after the doings of the land of Kinan, whither I bring you, shall ye not do. Neither shall ye walk in their ordinances. Ye do all of Tavet my judgments, and guard all of Tavet my ordinances, to walk therein. I am Yahuwah Elohim. Ye shall therefore guard all of Tavet my statutes, and all of Tavet my judgments, which if a man do, he shall live in them. I am Yahuwah. None of you shall approach <coughs> to any that is near of kin to him, to uncover their nakedness. I am Yahuwah. You're the nakedness of your father, or the nakedness of your mother, shall you not uncover. She is your mother, you shall not uncover her nakedness. The nakedness of your father's woman, shall you not uncover. It is your father's nakedness. The nakedness of your, sis of your sister, the daughter of your father, or daughter of your mother, <coughs> whether she be born at home or born abroad, even her nakedness, you shall not uncover. The nakedness of your son's daughter or your daughter's daughter, even their nakedness, you shall not uncover. For theirs is your own nakedness, the nakedness of your father's woman's daughter, begotten of your father, she is your sister, you shall not uncover her nakedness, you shall not uncover the nakedness of your father's sister, she is your father's near kinswoman, you shall not uncover the nakedness of your mother's sister, for she is your, is your 
mother's near kinswoman. You shall not uncover the nakedness of your father's brother. You shall not approach to his woman. She is she is your aunt. You shall not uncover the nakedness of your daughter-in-law. She is your son's woman. You shall not uncover her nakedness. You shall not uncover the nakedness of your brother's woman. It is your brother's nakedness. You shall not uncover all the tevet the nakedness of a woman and all the tevet her daughter. Neither shall you take her son's daughter or her daughter's daughter to uncover her nakedness, for they are her near kinswoman. It is wickedness. Neither shall you take a woman to her sister to vex her to uncover her nakedness besides beside the other <coughs> in her lifetime also you shall not approach unto a woman to uncover her nakedness as long as she is apart for her uncleanness moreover <coughs> you shall not lie carnally with your na with your neighbor's woman to defile yourself with her and you shall not let, not let any of your seed pass through the fire of to Moloch Neither shall you profane Allah Tabet the name of your Elohim, I am Yahuwah. You shall not lie, Allah Tabet, with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. Neither shall you lie with any beast to defile yourself therewith. Neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie <coughs> down thereto. It is confusion. Defile not ye, ye yourselves in any of these things. For in all these the nations are defiled which I cast out before you. And the land is defiled. Therefore, I do visit the iniquity there upon it. And the land itself vomits out all of Tavet her inhabitants. Ye shall therefore guard all of Tavet my statutes and all of Tavet my judgments. And shall not commit any of these abominations, neither any of your own nation, nor any stranger that sojourns among you. For all of Tavet, all these abominations <coughs> have the men of the land done which were before you. And the land is defiled, and the land spew not you out also, when ye defile it, as it spewed out all the nations that were before you. For whosoever shall commit any of these abominations, even that soul, even the souls that commit them, shall be cut off from among their people. Therefore shall ye guard all Tibet my ordinance, that ye not c commit any one of these abominable customs which <coughs> were committed before you. And that ye defile not yourselves therein. I am Yahuwah Elohim. Well, that is today's read. Until next time, I hope you all have a great night and a fantastic tomorrow.